Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. So today in this video, I am here to talk about end of session in order 14 point of sale. So this option is found in our, our point of sale module. When you start a new session and when you try to close a session, uh, that is a close session, you can find that option end of session. But only when you enable advanced cache control in your, uh, for your session setting. So you can see it is already enabled advanced cache control and we can also set an authorized difference for your uh, register. Okay. Then here we can start a new session. So our current uh, cache register has zero balance uh, that is zero. Now when you choose one table you can see a window in order to add uh, that is set a cache opening that is we can set a we have to set a opening amount okay. then if you want to make some payments you can do that Okay, I'm selecting the payment method cash and va then validating this payment. Okay, now if you want to make more payments, you can do that. Now I'm closing this. And then here we have, we can see an option to resume or close the session. And you can see the latest closing date and cash balance. It is now zero. So let's close this. And here you can see an option to continue selling or end of session. So if you end the session, then there can close the session. And here you can see um, open person, point of sale, then opening date details. Then here we have our cash control details. So this contains the transactions, total transaction amount can be seen here. Uh, that is paid sale orders, total amount. So if you can see 54.90 is the total amount. And here we can see the expected cash uh, in cash. That is the sum of opening balance and transactions. Sum of opening balance and transactions. And here we have our orders and can see the details. Then you can see the payments. So when you click this, you can see the total amount uh, through the payment method cash. You can see that. Okay. Then here you can see the status, that is, it is in progress. The session is in progress. Okay, then here if you want to add cash in, cash out, you can add that. So if we add uh, some amount, positive amount, then some money will be added to our transaction and expected cash. And if you take money out, then that amount will be reduced from our transactions and expected cash. Also, we have done a video on this cash and cash out. You can check that. Okay. Okay. Now let's again make some payments. There is some orders. Make a payment. And close this. Okay, so let's close this. So you can see the amount has changed here. And here we can see the orders and payments changed. And if you click end of session. So here you can see the difference, the before closing difference can see that amount, it is in negative. Uh, so we can change the difference like by, by setting uh, set closing cash. So you can add closing cash here. So you can add uh, 
thousand. One. So you can see there's some change in the before closing difference and you can see actual in cash is changed to thousand. So in this way you can get rid of the difference and also we can put some cash in like So now we can see the status status is changed to closing control and here we can close session and post entries. So if you uh, click that you can see there is a difference between expected and actual cash uh, closing in cash and are you want to close the session and post accounting entries. This is because we have a difference that is negative 787.86. So if you close this then it will be added to our uh, Lowe's account. So let's click confirm. So now the uh, bar is closed. And here you can see the cash balance is balance is thousand. And when you go to accounting, profit and loss. And when you go to journal items, so you can see that amount is debited. And you can see amount and currency and the label, then account in which it is added. You can see the journal entry by clicking this. So that's how we end a session in POS uh, by using the advanced cash control option. And close that is valid close and post entries in a session if you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any order implementation or customization in your business drop your request to order at cyprocess.com